Mountain Bowling Network and WON Sports present Candle Pins for Cancer, live from Boutwell's Bowling Center in Concord, New Hampshire, raising money for bowlers and their families in the fight against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate or take part at CandlePinsForCancer.com. That's Candlepins, number four, Cancer.com. Today we're pleased to welcome the stars of our semifinal stepladder matchup. Our two-time previous winner and number four seed, Scott LaPierre, and our number two seed with a qualifying score of 644, Sean Baker. And now your host, Paul Grant. Thanks, Greg. We are for being with us. Bob Lee, our executive producer here on hand as well. Scott LaPierre trying again to run the ladder for the second time for the second season in a row. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Now you got your little 12-year-old son inspiring you today. You bowled great in the qualifiers a pacer. Yes, I did. 84 average. Mm -hmm. 84 average is yeah. good, pretty good for his age, 12 years young. Scott, how do you, in these tournaments, you always seem to get to another level. You didn't fall well in that first match with Phil Club, but enough to win. Yeah. You crushed it with a you know, pretty good last time out. Yeah, thank God it gave me a little time to, to wake up there. But, yeah, sometimes it just takes you a few boxes to get going, and that's why you just keep throwing. Keep you got throwing. A potential, obviously, Sean Baker, first belt Hall of Fame in my eyes. Next time around, you possibly as well down the road. Uh, what's the mindset facing a ball? Is there intimidation? In your head going against a ball like that? No, I've known Baker for a long time, and he's a great bowler. But, yeah, that, that stuff, when we get to where we are in this game, that stuff don't mean anything anymore. It's just about throwing that ball and what you do on the lane. That's all. Your perspective as a bowler, when you get off your mark like that first match, how do you settle down? How do you get back mentally in the game? That's the tough part about this game. It is very tough. It's, it's all mental. This game's all mental. So it's just about resetting, refocusing, just getting back into your routine. And, like I said, just keep reaching for that target. Right, good luck today. Thank you. All right, Sean Baker. Hey, you were in it earlier, got knocked out, bowled again, and got a big 18 blocks to win and nudged out Troy Forney, a 644 to 643, number two seed coming in. Legendary performance as always. How do you do it year in, year out still? Well, I just enjoy the game. I love the game and keep keep uh, keep doing it to the best I can. We could get Bud Light to sponsor Candle Fence for Cancer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like them to sponsor me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. How about 50 50 deal? <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever you can make happen, that's fine. For the bowlers out there, we asked this question. I just asked Scott, what do you give advice to the young bowlers, who, especially young ones who get lose their mind when they throw a bad ball, bad box, bad string? How do you, you obviously show greatness, resiliency. How do you teach the young bowlers to keep in the game? Well, you just you got to keep your head. I mean, you're going to have bad boxes, you're going to have good boxes. You can't. You can never dwell on what just happened. You can be upset for a second. You got to move on. You got to just go in and keep trying and, and whatnot. If you, if you get upset, it's not going to help you. And your new bride, Kim Baker, wearing the Steve Rigo, Reno logo, who's in the Canelpin Hall of Fame with Al Johnson this past time with Bob Wickham. You're creating Canelpins for Cancer hats. We're selling quite a few of those now. Ten dollars goes to the charity out of twenty dollars for the hats. Now you're selling Canelpin, soon Canelpins for Cancer shirts. Yeah, I just designed this this morning, and we got the logo on the front, and on the back we have the website, and then on the side we have the ribbon, the cancer ribbon, and I would be happy to even put somebody's initials under it if they want to do a special order. So, no extra cost. Yeah, we'll get those right stream live. Thank you very much. And you're very good performance. You've been in a lot of titles yourself. A few. A couple with him, anyway, in the mixed worlds. A um, couple international ladies, and yeah. Well, thank I'm at the end of my career. <laughs> Thanks for supporting Candle Fence for Cancer. Great job. Hey, Sean, good luck today. Thank so you. the ball, three strings, total formats, all that matters. If we tie a one-string roll-off, the winner of this match takes our number one seed, Jay Simino. Back to Greg Uyar. Thanks so much, Paul. And remember, Candle Pin Bowling is played with three small balls rather than two per frame, and any pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. Joining me alongside is Paul Grant, you saw here. My name is Greg Guyar, and alongside with us as well is Bob Lee, our executive producer. Hey, Greg. Hey there, Bob. Great work on the camera. Really appreciate that. Good crowd already building up here live on Candlepin Bowling Network. And, of course, all of you watching across the 30 public access stations and climbing across the WON Sports Media Network. Scott LaPierre underway. Left side, 4-1 split. Welcome to those watching again on Can Up and Bowling Network on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. It's always free. Never, never a charge. Whoa. I'm so sorry. We need Just a reminder. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everyone. Excuse me. I've <laughs> we try. That. Fix that. 369. <sighs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> All right, Scott LaPierre still has three standing with his third ball here at the beginning uh. of match three. He gets a seven. Okay. 
Bad. Channel Pin Bowling Network on YouTube, closing in 1,000 videos. Executive producer Bob Lee here helping out. Welcome, Bob Lee. That is our third, third time. Uh, I, I, we've seen a seven to start things off. Scott hurling his first two pitches at 33 miles an hour. That's down a bit from what it, where he was a moment ago. He's got a 123, 124 average bowler. One and the two out of Sanford Bowl, Rama, Sanford, Maine, home of one of the Candlepins for Cancer upcoming step ladders, June 2nd, top five live show. Men and women combined for that one, the finals, individual roll offs. Information coming out soon on Candlepin Chat. Lafayette missed right. Three strikes in the first match, three in the second match. Defeated Phil Clough in a close one. Dominating against Troy Fournier as he gets a 10, 17 through two. And welcome Sean Baker. The number two seed. Welcome back. Also, the girls watching on WON Sports Television Network out of New York. Baker's Second got that. producer is Jonathan Rios. Baker's got that NASCAR sponsorship going on the back. Uh, Bud Light, Penny Lane Grill, Bryce's Wood Flooring. That's Mixed World sponsorship for you. He has something to watch. Imagine Kim Baker writing up Mixed Worlds as an afterthought just with her tone of voice. That's an extraordinary championship there. One of the three. Not a bad leaf missing the head pin. His first box to match is a spare off the wall. Ooh. Good pin action twice. Baker throws 38 um, out of the gates here. Three pin lead plus the ball. This in Haverhill, Massachusetts, Richie from Lynn, Massachusetts, 120 league bowler, eye-popping stats, 213 high single to begin. On the spare, on the head pin, seven, make it eight. Three right, seven left, would to possibly help. 18 through one, up 11. High triple, 493. A mind-boggling high five of 793. <laughs> You're robbed by the wood. His high 10, 15 weight. Al Johnson, 15.25 is the world Canopin holder for 10 strings, 15.25. Sean has a 27.08 down the Easter Classic in the past. He grabs one for a nine, 27.17, a football score on Super Bowl weekend, up 10 in the first of three. The Easter Classic is a 20 string competition held annually at Lido Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Ken Baker will be nominating for the Hall of Fame next time around. Now we go to lane three above the WON Sports banner. Lapierre, beautiful ball, nine. Great piece of wood in front of the four. How was that out of the hand, Bob? It was 33 again, and uh, I'll, I'll just say it again. Scott was throwing 35 and 34 in his first two strings, so something to watch. I mean, the accuracy there was beautiful. For a spare, he has it. 27 of the ball through three in the first of three. He's got a 378 last round against Troy Fournier. Beat the number three seed, that's the fourth seed. On the crossover, it's a diamond, minus one, minus two. Minus. Five, nine, seven left. Wow. On the spare, 34. 34 through three in the first of three. Mm -hmm. 207 high single, high triple 460, high five, 727. Tough leave, missed right, five okay. and a seven. You could say like mother like son. Her mother was a championship winner in the 80s. So it runs in the family. And his young son, 12-year-old Benjamin, doing a great job early on as he gets a 9, 43 through 4. Bob Lee. All right, oh. and then Scott has come back up to 34. Um, just, I, I think I think he's just uh, shaking loose. Started things off a few hours ago. You know, we're not going to pretend that we're, we're doing this in multiple weeks like, like these do on Channel 5, but it, th these are consecutive matches, and fatigue is a factor, and... You know, sitting down and then standing up again. Baker on the head pin and a split. Three, six, ten right, four, seven left. Not an easy shot. He's made this many times in his illustrious career. Including during that invitational match against Chris Sargent, if I recall correctly. 
Chopped out the six. It is extraordinary. He was invited uh, expressly for that invitational match, uh, which was at Portsmouth Bolarama, and then he qualified for a laughter, ladder right after. He takes the sure sticks on the left side and gets an eight box. 35 through three. Great job putting the videos together, Bob and Greg. Closing in 1,000 videos pretty soon on Cannonball Bowling Network on YouTube. 148 on lane three. Hmm. Buttwellsbowl.com, B-O-U-T-W-E-L-L-S, Buttwellsbowl.com for lane reservations, corporate events, birthday parties, and weddings if you'd like. They've done it before here. Great shot, oh. won't carry somehow. I think the ball went through the two, right, right between them. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. I was hoping it would hit the wood in front. Not to show favoritism towards the bowlers, just against the pins. Takes a nine, fours a while, 44 through four. He's up one in the string. Coming this March to WON Theater, it's the best of Charles Bronson. Throughout the month, the WON Theater will be presenting rare Charles Bronson films like Rider on the Rain, Cold Sweat, Someone Behind the Door, Red Sun, Cabo Blanco, and more. It's WON Theater's best of Bronson month, coming this March to WON Television Network. LaPierre straight through the middle, spread eagle. All right. So both bowlers using four-step approaches. You'll notice they both start with a right, they're, they're both righties, they start with their right foot. One, two, three, four. Uh, Hodge pin won't carry. We've seen that a couple times today. It's a game of maddening angles, but as long as you're on the object pin, the averages tend to even out. Let's get $100 in bonus money for winning four strings. One was a tie with Phil Clough. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Takes an eight box that time. <laughs> 51 half. Again, imagine making the 4 7 10 being an afterthought. Candlepins for Cancer is a registered 501c3 charity. Candlepin Bowls and their relatives get support from this great charity. Donations via Vemo 24 7. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Any amount is greatly appreciated. Okay. It comes full circle to the Candlepin Bowling community. A banana split. He's going to have to pull out that same shot we saw last time. Maybe use the wood on the left side. Four seven. I could, if, it, if it comes across near the near the ribbon, I don't know, between the ribbon and the ball and the and the, and the pin. Whew. Yeah. I think he was going for the pin first. Takes nine on this one, 60 through six. So effectively, back to status quo, back to par, as you say, Bob, and some of us as well. I'm assuming ten a box, so 60 yep. through six. It's par for some, for some people. For, for yeah. years, I had a 9900 average, and it was my par. But uh, it's your box. <laughs> Sean Baker, box to box, up one in the first to three. Semi-final round, season three, ladder two. On to the left. I thought he had the head pin, just tailed away last second. One six ten. Okay. And on by that, four. and by that we mean completed boxes. So Baker forty four through four, Lapierre forty three through four. Baker for spare. Got, Got it. it. That was like. I think he caught the piece of wood, and it, 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 there was no uh, three pin there, but it went like he like there was. That spare would, in the first, spare in the fifth, fifty four and a ball. It was connected. Trying to add to his lead. Smooth ball strike, oh. crush the pins! Bombs away, baby! That just looked smooth out of the hand. I just saw the yep. technique there. It just yep. was lined up perfectly, perfect power, perfect poise at the line. That's intimidating. A big 20, wow! And perfect pinfall. 64 half, 74 plus two through six. Who is this guy? Kim's Scott husband. <laughs> And Sean Bacon giving a dose of what Scott Lappy did to Phil Clough and Troy Fournier in a lot of cases. What a bomb that was for a strike. 4-1 split on lane three for Lapierre. Great shot, two full. Three, six, nine, seven left. Seventh box, first string. To extend Bob's point, this is his seventh straight string of bowling. Audrey Pimble carry for another seven. 
And we has saw two st seven blocks and a spare seven, 67 through seven, Greg. We saw earlier in that match he had against Phil Clough, these pins just don't always splash just because you hit them. You gotta get the angle just right, and it is so finicky and candle pit. No oil patterns, no mercy. Just missed the pocket, the four horsemen right, the one, three, six, 10. And Bob, is the going rate a little higher than 36% now on these, or is it about the same? Uh, no, I, I haven't updated the, the stats. It's, it's, it was there for a long time. <laughs> it's hundreds, hundreds of cases. Just missed inside. Ooh. Coming or back, but too far behind. Yeah. I mean, right now I'd be polluting it because I watched so many matches at Millis that and the action is so insane there. <laughs> 10, 72 through 8. 77 through 8, yep. There is a question, of course, if that in certain cases leaves have to be standardized like house by house since the uh, pin conditions do vary slightly across houses and it does make a difference. Sean's working at thunderous strike. Yeah, oh. I mean, the, the perception is that you cannot make the four horsemen. Uh, you know, the, the, the odds are way down in central. In central, the four and the, and the, 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 uh, the seven and the 10 pin East never Boston. fall. Yeah. One, two, four, spare chance on a strike. Head pin, two full. Two on the four, eight in the strike. 82 through six of 22. Through completed boxes. 10 in the box. 92 through seven of 25. And Baker's only left four pins on the standing to LaPierre's 10, and those seven boxes are yeah. stacking up against him. So that's basically gaining an extra marks worth in addition to the two that he literally has as an advantage. These marks have been filled well by both bowlers, and that's not a given in this game. You've seen it already in the earlier matches. Number two seed, Sean Baker. Number four seed, Scott Lapierre. Beautiful ball for another strike, almost. That's the ball for it. There's just no guarantee in this game. Right above the WON Sports banner. What a great job Jonathan Rios has done. Clean shot for a spare. Got it. 102 and a ball in the eighth. A 25 pin lead plus one bonus ball. Four marks for Baker. Pro grade string. He's fun to watch. There's a lap here and all these bowlers in this ladder. All the pros are great to watch. Even the semi pros I enjoy covering. Getting the chance to rise up to the ranks. Lapierre for a strike nine. Four pin left up. of his best leaves and he converted his last good one. Oh, he had one double strike early in the ladder. For a spare, missed <laughs> left. <laughs> Not a good feeling, you're down 25 plus a ball. It wasn't there for a nine, 86 through nine. One spare, seven, the third box, that city. He's pinning well overall, but he did have two seven boxes, actually. It's lower a score, but usually a very good pinner. Yeah, in the final game against Fournier, didn't, he left only one pin standing, I believe. Right. And, uh, yeah, it's just been a little bit. A little, yeah. Scott for a strike. There it goes. <laughs> took, took him nine boxes to get going. 96 plus two in the tenth. That strike ball has been influential in his past two victories, though, and here it comes again. All will be forgotten if he doubles it. Which he did last time, string one. We just sold our another WOW shirt that's 787 sold. Ooh. Another strike, it's got oh, it! Oh, another oh, double oh, strike, oh, wow! Really? I just forgot everything. All is forgotten. 106 plus bonus balls, trying to get to 116 for his third strike. Well, if you forgot everything, Bob, the rule <laughs> is you get one more ball to complete the frame. 106 <laughs> and a ball. $25 in bonus money. We'll throw in $100 if he gets a triple strike. We always say to guys, hey, go 11, go 11. Well, how about go 12? Here it comes. 12 racks. That just, just seems like a good thing. Last time he had a seven fill in this position for a 27 box. Against Troy Fournier. For a triple, too far left, ah, a 23 kick. box. Right. Nice finish though, 109, first string. Power of the double strike, bring yourself right back. Sorry, I nearly fell out of my stool like Joe Castiglione. <laughs> but uh, Sean, 
will match him with a seven fill and then go ahead the next two boxes. Sean Baker, 102 in a ball on lane four in Concord, New Hampshire. Crossing over is seven, five, nine, ten, left to right, 109 through eight. He's won the first string. He has $25 in bonus money. By the way, Paul, your audio number uh, two on this thing, if you don't mind. What is available for Baker? High up, Bob, do you think? Yeah, I'm zooming in on it. Uh, I, mm. Here it comes. For another spare. Yes! Oh, 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 right on the right on the corner of the face. The 119 in the ball in the ninth. We'll call that the jaw, right? The jaw of the How so? The jaw. You know, the face. It's on, on the edge of the, where the, where the where the face meets the side of the pin. Ah. It's the jaw. Hit right on the jaw. Little undercut there. Just yeah. missed right. One, two, seven, ten. Add six more. 125 through nine. crossover into the one-two pocket for this one for bonus money off the wall oh. no not an easy shot but a heck of a try trying to get to 135 overcut it which he does nice start 135 109 one down two to go back with a second string in just a moment on Kenneth and bowling network and the WON sports television network Welcome back to Canal for Cancer. Season three, ladder two, our semifinal match, our third match today, later on in the WON Sports Television Network and 30 stations across the country. And on Canal from Bowling Network on YouTube, number two seed Sean Baker leads number four seed Scott Lapierre. 135 to 109 after one. Canal Pins for Cancer is a 501c3 charity. Please donate by Venmo, Canal Pins number four, cancer.com. Bowlers helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. Please, any amount would be greatly appreciated. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Sean Baker will lead off the second string. Good string there for Sean Baker. Five marks to LaPierre's two. Still two strings to go, and we've seen LaPierre be very resilient in his last two victories. The executive producer of Candlepin Bowling Network is Bob Lee right here with us, Jonathan Rios in WON New York, the WON Television Network. Executive producer, what a great job he's done for us. Tireless worker, adding wow shots to instant replay. Slow motion shots on the WON television network. Baker, one, two, nine, ten. We'll get Bob Lee's thoughts on that first string after this box. Makeable spare. We missed the object pin. Stole it with the wood. The two rocking and rolling. Holds up with a ten right. Scorpion tail kick. Baker. Doink. What? Comes back for the two. Couldn't get the tail nine. to work there. Thing. Bob Lee. Well, Scott, you know, Scott rescued things. He had a spare and a double strike in the end. The double strike in the tenth is a is a mixed blessing, though. You know, you, you sit you sit there and think, well, I could have had a you know with a double strike. You typically get uh, twenty six on the first ball, eighteen on the second. Baker. Nice. Four seven wobbling. Hold up in the ten. And then you get the 18 on top of that because the second spare, you know, even if you don't get a, a, a third strike in a row, is it, you get 18 typically on a uh, on a strike, eight fill. Um, I think 8.3 is the average. But so so it's a little. That's why it's a mixed blessing. You get your you get your double strike, so you can get your 23 box mm. in that case where, where the Scott. But uh, you didn't get the advantage of that like 54 pin. It counts as fewer marks. Yeah. Yeah. Four seven ten. Pick with a little wiggle. Oh, what a try. Wow. I mean, it's really, it has to do with his legs and making sure his footwork is set, but hmm, I like it. He gets to 10 on the 2-1 split, mm. 19 through 2 to start the second of three. Pro 10, three, three balls on their target. Scott Lapia now has to dig out of a hole. Down 26 after one. He was up 26 in Troy Fournia last match up to one. Getting a dose of his own medicine, you could say. Beautiful ball, eight, make it nine, maybe. Oh, oh no. look at oh, that. No. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I it, think. Wow. It, it got 
It got reset by the <laughs> by the pin. Yeah. It got top tapped over and then reset. And Welcome and to Kenneth and Malik, folks. And I believe that's his son Benjamin down there keeping score for us. In fact, uh, it's in complete disbelief about that. Wow. Bad wow. Now it gets to what? go, but that gave him a chance for a spare on the 10 pin, but instead he had to deal with that other pin. Tough break. Toughest version of 10 pin for a reason. A sport for all ages. All Stand right. To start the second of three, up one in the string, yeah. down 25 in the match. All we can award is 10 for that. That's w a, pro, a pro 10, right? Exactly. Three objects, th 10 pins. Promo time, if I may. WON Sports is very happy to bring you a new wave of professional wrestling action based out of New York City, featuring high flying and hard hitting action with cutting edge presentation. It's Catalyst Wrestling Television. Tune in weekly on WON Sports. Is Mark Ritchie's not going to be in that one, right? Alas. Rock Lanes. There's lots of pro wrestling wherever you go. <laughs> he hosted the Women's Kennel Pits for Cancer last time at Ripwalk. A great match with and Sharon Britton and Sonya Johnson. Yes, he did. That was a great event there in Amesbury. Did he go out of state for that wrestling event? Yes. <laughs> for a spare. Oh, top break again. Huh. Those two pinners. Greg Gouyal used to call them the pesky two pinners. <laughs> They don't call that often, they, they, about one and two or so. And these are particularly pesky pins as LaPierre gets another pro 10. Up one of the strings, still down 25 in the match. So I guess if you're a righty, you throw in a right to left ball, you want the two pins face the other way. I'd like to thank the Dallas family for hosting. Very accommodating. Whatever we needed, they helped us out. Mm. Thank you. Baker on the head pin, crossing over, still rolling. He's got the 5, 7, 10. Crossovers leave that. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Been two of those. Five pin still shaking his boots. Nails that one. Go for the 10 here on the right. Baker throwing 38 and 39 miles an hour each pitch. Slows it down to 37 for yes. that one. 10. Having the second now an eight, 27 through three. The, f the trouble with end caps in general. End caps reminds me of Radio Shack Day setting up promo displays. <laughs> Nightmares about that stuff. The problem so. with end caps, you just don't know which aisle it's at the end of. <laughs> <laughs> three, two split. Future Hall of Fame is Sean Baker. Sean with a W, S-H-A-W-N. He stands about 14 feet back behind the line. Takes a four step approach. And this left, two, six, 10. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to donate via Venmo. A check on the address, candlepins number four, cancer.com. Greatly appreciate any support. Goes full circle to the Candlepin bowling community as Baker gets an eight. 35 through 4 in the I second of 3. I apologize, I apologize for not having the customary on-screen annotation, but it is in the description below of wherever you're watching on Candlepin Bowling Network. Candlepins number 4, cancer.com. And uh, thank you, Jonathan Rios, in advance for putting that in your post-production as well. $46,000 plus paid out a lot in the last year or so. As we bring it to every live stream we do and go all over New England promoting Candlepins for Cancer and Candlepin Bowling Network and Candlepin Bowling in general. And the shot to the main bowl has been terrific sponsoring us as well. 3-6 right, 4-7 left, not going to be easy. Scott Lapierre and the object won't carry. If anyone can hear that noise, that's just the telephone here. Got called out, Greg. <laughs> Second most eclectic phone system to the ringing bell they have at Exeter Lanes in New Hampshire. Audrey oh. again for an 8, 28 <laughs> through 3 in the second of 3. It's three two pinners in a row that he... Cherry picked. It's a family affair. They've owned yeah. about 10 years. The Dallas family, the sons, Dimitri, Dino, and Alex Dallas work here as well. We were talking about what do you do if you're hitting your object pin and you just keep on cherry picking it. Of course, it's been happening to Matt Susie of Academy One for a couple weeks now. Spread oh evil right on cue. <laughs> and there was a poll taken on a certain candle pin discussion forum of what do you do if theoretically you have 10 head pins and you just keep cherry picking them out. And two and three said, I change nothing. I'll keep hitting the head pin and it's bound to change eventually. Some move up a board or move down a board. Right. Yep. And then you aim, you aim a little more on the side and you hit, pick the middle pin like that. Right. 
But in the words of the late great Dan Murphy, former proprietor here at Batwell's Bowling Center, timing is everything in the game of candlepin bowling. And that, although that's usually to do with the release, it sometimes has oh to do my with God, when the ball again. hits the pins <laughs> and tries to hit the angle so that it carves through the right way. <laughs> Lapierre couldn't figure <laughs> it out and gets a six. He did it again. He hit the. He he picked. Oh, uh, <laughs> he picked another one, and that went on the three pitter. Uh, I mean, just. Those, those, that was a brutal box. And only 14 those last two up. He's now down one in the string, 27 in the match. Don't change anything. Just, just be calm. Sean Baker blisters seven. Another head five, pin. Five, eight, ten. Another split. Uh, Wood is, hmm? what's yep. not impossible? Wood is great, actually. And if oh. you are, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Trampoline off the red line, you think? Uh, yeah, it, 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 ha it has a good chance of hitting that 10 pin. For a spare. Boom. <laughs> I was worried about that. It, 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 it chopped in there. It stuck in and bounced weirdly up. It didn't, didn't complete the, uh, the pin rebound. Did. Yeah, the pin did. 10 box. Just a 45 half without a mark. Halfway through his match. Again, these bowlers have great head pin accuracy. <laughs> Uh, Baker's only missed one head <laughs> pin, and LaPierre has missed none. Baker just stuck his tongue out. <laughs> Sean, two Easter Classic titles, over 50 television appearances, it does six Pro Tour titles. This match is giving us some all-time facial reactions. Sh uh, LaPierre had the biggest eye roll. Another head pin, another split. But this one's manageable, because you get that wood behind the three and the six. We're right back to where we were with the Clough LaPierre match with all these splits. That was the first match today. And Roger Pim won't carry. <laughs> Six right, I eight think left. That time I think he wanted to be a little further right, only just. Well, he turns to uh, his opponent and says, huh, a split, and then a split within a split. Sean has left the door open for Scott Laffey to sneak back in it, but so far, nothing happening for either bowler. All right. Eight, no marks yet in the string, 53 through six. It's how do you manage the frustration? I mean, it's, it's really tough when you're a mediocre bowler. Yeah, I resemble <laughs> that comment. A, and you're having a bad day, and then that starts happening, too. You're like, wait a minute, I'm bowling average. Why is this, why am I, why am I throwing an 80, 85? You know, it's like, it's gruesome. Scott Lapierre, smooth ball, no split this time, 6-10, spare chance, right. double barrel wood. Hello, wood. That may have flattened against the plate edge, but it may still be fine because there's that other piece back there. Needs it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Wow. God, the wood awful. giveth, the wood taketh. I zoomed in on it because I, I, got, I was afraid that was going to happen. Just the way things are going. Nine. Can't take advantage. So far, 43 half, down two in the string. So the 28 sec in the match. What? The, the second piece that was in front of the 10 was was hit by, by the first. There were two pieces of wood. And the, and the second piece got hit. Hit. Bounced directly into the right side, came back down, and didn't touch the 10. And what do you know? Another head pin. He crossed over this time in a three and two split. Six for six on the head pin. Ow. He does have that barn door in front of the 6-10. This is still a ridiculous cut he has to put on this. He's done it before. Audrey pin again, a little thin though. Want to go inside. The two and the four. And both bowlers, no marks. And hey. it's a nice 10. 53, 53 tied in the string, but Sean up 26 in the match. It could matter. The more, the fewer the marks are, the more important the pinning is. Although, at this current moment, Sean Baker yeah. is up seven in terms of pinning, but also has six marks at the moment, right? But Second half of the match underway. But 19 pins of his 26 pin lead are from bonus pins on his marks. Eddie. Five marks to two. Another Just split. Another split. Yeah. Four left, three, six, ten right. Six straight if anyone's keeping track at home for Baker. Ooh, Just inside. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Don't want to. We've seen the cherry picks here. You don't want to attack a seven on. Baker. Nice there out. Nine. Go. 62 through seven on Canelpin Bowling Network and the WON Sports Television Network. And when you are a mediocre boker, <laughs> bowler, that one always, almost always seems to turn into a six. Yeah. That's the difference. Or a cherry pick for a seven if yeah. you're on other days. 
Baker slams the strike some, but look at this. Setback is a split. Huh. It's a setback without wood, though? Yeah. This is yeah, split. oh, it's absolutely a setback. I always call it just mm. wood. But the setback, I'm going to be argumentative, I apologize. It's like when you buzz the two or the three pin and that wood just plops right down there. This will be. Oh, he's trying to go one of the two that yeah. time. Lesson to more. That's, that's what the very, very, very good bowlers have an option of that. Yeah. Folks who didn't join us for our last broadcast, that's the old adage of uh, splits and candle pin bowling. The idea is to play less pins into more pins. So in this case, one pin into two pins. Sean Nine, 71 yeah. to eight. Both bowlers struggling here, no marks. The, the theory there is if you, you, can hit, you can hit the five into the seven and it's gonna bounce and it will rebound back or off the wall. The winner of this match takes on number one seed, Jay Simino, through a 685 in the qualifying round. Clapier needs a couple of marks to cut up the single digits. One, two, seven, ten. First head pin missed the string, but a decent lead. Yeah, it's a washout. I don't know. Is that decent? It's tawdry. Hmm. Great shot. Just couldn't get to the east coast. Dubious, even. I mean, it could have gone, but it was it was a s scant percentage. The educational value of public access television, <laughs> 10 bucks. 63 through 7. Scant one a scantily string. clad leave there, scantily clad. Excuse? <laughs> okay, so I helped out the 50-50 raffles. Today, $160 for Candlepins for Cancer. $200 for owner Andy Dellis today also. How about a nine drop here? Oh, how about oh, bet even a 10 better, strike? Even better. <laughs> See him cross his eyes. You can't, you can't believe they all went Bob, down. You, the price is right, Bob. You underbid. <laughs> you lose both showcases. No, you didn't over. You didn't overbid though, so you're okay. You didn't lose both showcases. How about that shot? You needed that one. Seventy-three plus two in the eighth. He's got room for three or four more. Baker, look at this. Ooh, a slider. It, 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 it's not technically a split, but after you after you shift that uh, huh. two pin over it, it becomes a little. Would you, call, would you call that a split ball officially? I, mean, I don't know if there's room for the for the ball to go between them, though, so I don't think it's a split. He ain't playing there. He's playing 2-5. That's right. Two pins in no man's land. Now it looks like a split, but it isn't. Huh? Shot off the wall. It gets a nice 10. Cool. 81 through 9. Still no marks. Solid pinning. But if he does not get a mark, Scott's got a chance Th to cut it the single digits and potentially take the lead going to the final string in this semifinal match. Baker. Another head pin. Another split. Two, four, ten. So that's nine for ten on he head pins, but uh, eight of them splits. Yeah, four spares, one strike in that first, I believe, right? Four spares, one strike. That's correct. And he actually only had five head pin hits in that string. And no okay. marks here in the second. Funny game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Our colleague Micah Imperato like highlights head pins and splits, but I'm still s the correlation isn't complete isn't a perfect straight line. Disappointing no, 90 I mean, string, 225 through two. For I, number two seed, Sean Baker. Uh, Paul, I played I played around with uh, how how often you'd get seven of nine, you know, how often you get 65, 70% splits. If it's a normal house, if it's a normal house, it's going to be 40% splits. So it's almost like you're flipping a coin and you're, getting, and you're getting like five in a row. It happens all the time. Like, how about that, huh? On a strike, first ball, four, just, a spread eagle. Mm -hmm. It just happens all the time. And, th and this is one of the things in st statistics that you have, you have to learn. There's a graduate course that's taught where they, they ask people to write down randomly heads or tails and then actually have <laughs> them flip coins. And then the professor comes in and, and, and you know, doesn't know which, which team did it randomly. This is, this is a fill ball. Oh, oh look at what that. a shot. Sliced and diced it like Jersey Mike's. Seven in the fill. So. And, and that's between the three and six pins, wasn't that? Yeah, it was. It was, it was, it was very, very beautifully uh, done. Almost, almost the perfect shot. And that'll be a 10, ten. pro 10, 90 through nine. So he's going to win the string and get $25 in bonus money, going up to $125. You guys like Jersey Mike's. I think their subs are awesome. Yeah, just to finish the story, though, Paul. So, the, so then the professor comes in. One, one team was assigned to flip the coin 500 times. The other team was, co was told to, to put down random no heads and tails. And then um, she looks at it, the professor, whoever, and uh, another split. And, and then in, in, in 30 seconds, we'll say, okay, you're the one who flipped the coins, and you're the one who wrote them down because – the odds are almost almost overwhelming that you're going to have seven or eight heads in a row or tails in a row. 
that's if point. you flip the coins. And people, when they're, when they're writing them down randomly, think that, that's, that that would be improbable, so they don't do it. Oh, just missed right. So in other words, you're gonna, if it's random, and it's not because of your ball, if it's random, just bad luck, you know, your 40% just, just keeps showing up, and you're just like, oh my god, I'm rolling my eyes, I'm gonna change my ball. Well, be careful, be careful. Scott gets a nine, 99, second string. He wins it by nine, he cuts to 17, with one string to go, back with a third and final string next on the WON Sports Television Network and Canalpin Bowling Network. I'll segue in with a promo. Uh, just 225 to 208? Okay, good. Welcome back. The 2023-2024 season of Candle Pins for Cancer continues with the Any Double Step Ladder 1 from Big 20 Bowling Center, Scarborough, Maine. Watch live Saturday, April 13th at 12 p.m. on Candle Pin Bowling Network and seen later on WON Sports. Paul, if we're ready, we'll give Scott Lepp here the go-ahead. He starts off on lane number four. He's down 17 in the match. Lost by 26, won by nine. He has $125 in bonus money. Sean has $25 in bonus money for one in the first string. Scott sets the final string. We have an overtime if we tie for one string till somebody wins. Here's the Augusta Main Special. I call it the 1710 Sports Center, the old Channel 5 high low jack shot, high low jackpot shot. Yeah, I, I think you'd have be happy about that wood, though. For kiss a spare. It, kiss it. Missed oh. left. All but number yeah. one. We well, can tell you why the head pit didn't go down. The rest are a mystery. Three pieces of wood took out the one on the left. One piece of wood took the one on the right. Five-time Pro Series champion Scott Lapia nine to start the final string. He's two and a half marks behind on spares, two marks behind on strikes. So Paul, I had an interview with, uh, brief interview with Sean Baker after that miserable nine of ten, eight split performance in string two. He said it was not fun. It was not fun. Crossing over, thin hit, seven goes, nine ten, spare chance. Wood rolling around. But they are throwing the best ball possible for it because uh, straight fast ball in Candlepin, maybe with a slight break at the end, is the best way to do it. Unlike in big ball where you can curve it down and take advantage of the oil patterns. But there is little to no oil on the lanes here at Candlepin Bowling. So just a straighter ball, a faster ball is more reliable in general. For a spare. Ooh. Yes. Hey, the ball did it. Needed that one. 19 of the ball through two in the third. He kicked that, that wood basically acted like a road rock, but the ball bounced off the right wall and then punched the 10 and nine in succession, high, high up near the head. Well, if the pins won't do their job, the ball will have to. Sean coming to the final string of 17 in the match. Just missed left, eight, huh. great leave, one of the three. Jay Simino, the number one seed, up next. For a spare, missed left, not by mm. much. 11 straight without a mark. Although only one of the few times where that's on the bowler. And that is a Paul Grant special, missed a second, make the third for a 10. Up one in the string, 18 in the match, up against a spare. Who don't want it? Sorry, that's one of the undo noises from Kid Picks. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Sarah Wright, Class D Northern Conference, Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour, donating one dollar along with Richard Lerman, number one seed. Every Paul Grant special in the 18 week season, you miss the second shot completely, making the third for a 10 box. So thank you, Sarah Wright, Rich Lerman, and others doing that to support Candlepins for Cancer, a 51C3 charity. You can donate via Vemo on the website, Candlepins number four, cancer.com, Candlepins number four, cancer.com, and register for a roll off. All right, another good look. Just won the one, two, four. Spare. Yep. Matching spares. Shot up one in the string. That's 18 in the match. That's where you want your ball to go 35 or more. You, you, he, the two pinner, the first two, the, the, the one and the two were down, but he needed that action off the wall for the, uh, for the four. Off the wall for the four pin, but wall shots are frequent in Candlepin. Well done. Scott would love a double strike here. Too far right, but takes down eight, nine. Huh. And that's that, when I talk about mm -hmm. Bob, and I see this, it seems like one every two times it goes, your stat is about 59 
point one four something like right. that. Right, so, so it's a little lower than the, the, the pro rate on sing naked single pins, which would be seventy percent or sixty eight percent. And Greg and I were talking about it because you missed the first shot. It's hard to get the second yeah, time if you're off tra target. Because that does imply you were inaccurate on the last one. Have you found the range? Yeah. Has Scott? Case, no, he hasn't. Case in point. You may call your next witness. 28 through 2 on the spare 9. And he will miss again for 9. It's like, you know, Paul, I want you. I want you. I want to do a study. How often you miss, you miss the first and miss the second versus how, you know, is it any more common to make it after you missed? than it would be if you were just facing a spare, a naked single pin. 37 through three in the third. We've heard in a lot of the interviews how it's a mental game. Back in the pocket, nine. Again. Okay, so here's a. Would oh, rolling back to the yeah, floor, this would be, be something. Good. That'll be good. But running out of gas. Yeah, but it, it's That's there. gonna help though. Yeah. It, it touched it, you saw it turn there. Yeah, the pin is 15 inches wide at, when it's down and it's three inches wide when it's standing. Two pound, eight ounce bowling pins, 2.7 pound bowling balls, the max. Oh, he got it. Ooh, I was worried about that gap. <laughs> he was lucky to get that one. He'll take it. You a sigh of relief, 42 and a ball through four. He punched it in the jaw. Craig. 47 and a ball through four. A correction, 47 a ball. Mm -hmm. Just getting up reading my wearing, uh, wearing my reading glasses. All scores are confirmed. Technically unofficial, but we've got a good eye on the scoreboard, so. Sean at 11 straight without a mark. Now he's on a spare. On lane three here in Cockney, New Hampshire, at Butwell's Bowling Center. 1 8, 6 10 right. 26 through 2. Currently box to box, completed boxes. Down two in the string. Up 15 in the match. Who will advance to face Jay Simino? Nice shot. Won't carry to the right side. 6 10. He's able to get a pinch of spare. Next box also. Sean turns around for a 10. Perfect so far, 10 spares, 6, 10. 10 spares and strikes and came up from bowling. Our perfect game. Good pro rate, 120 or better. 150 is huge, but 200 is just a, a, a great game, obviously. Yeah, the median score, the middle the average score, I think also 115 in the Friday Night Pro League for comparison. Beautiful ball for a strike. Will it go? Eight holds up. All right. Let's zoom in on that wood there. You see it, Greg? I think the left hip looks like it's covering, but Sean Baker's taking a very good look at that. I'm thinking tip left that wood. I think there's some space. I, I, so I think he he's going to think about playing out there to the right. Sean doing his own personal mound visit, you could say. For a yep. spare. He goes right. And did he got it, off the wall. It. A rebound spare. They match again. It wouldn't have gone without the wall yep. again. They uh, match in the second. They match in the fourth. 47-46. Scott down is up one in the string, yeah. make it down 16 in the match. Well, you have to conference with yourself. You don't have Maria Subs helping you out here. We talked about Jersey Mike's earlier. I love Jersey Mike. You like Jersey Mike's? Yeah, but Maria Subs relevantly, the ICC World's team he bowls oh, yeah. with. Yeah. Craig Holbrook. John On the Lynch nose, eight. Which is a recent transfer for Sean Baker. He was formerly with uh, Lucky Strike. Pushes down the eight, the four pin for another mark. Okay. 56 through four. Here we go. There's space, but it's straight back to it. It's angled right. All he has to use it. For another spare. Yes. Two in a row. Three in the last four. 66 half plus one. Here comes Scott Lapierre. Out of Sanford Bowler Romer in Sanford, Maine. Great He's owners here at OJ and Owen Martin. And now the belief is starting to rise that maybe he could climb another ladder. He still trails. On the bonus, oh, six, no. a tough 2-2 two -two split, 6-10 right, 2-4 left. It was really bad for him when the second string is totally dried out of marks, al or almost totally. 72 half, and Sean Baker sucking down those yeah. Bud Light as usual. Zero spares in string two. Missed left, no bonus okay. money. Okay. We haven't had three marks no yet so far in the three matches so far. Not just yet. Scott, no, no. seven. That was a tough seven. Uh -oh. 79 through six on Canelfman Bowling Network and the WON Sports Television yeah, Network. He was within one pin, but now he's, uh, Baker can pin out a four pin lead. Sean's on a spare right now. Has a double digit lead in the match. Bill Ball. Got the pocket, he gets nine. Didn't look like he got a lot of that shot. 
He's up the two pin for another one. It was thin. 55 through four. He got it. <laughs> Another thin one, but they're thin, thin. beautiful. Thin mints. 65, half plus one. Now he's certainly got a double digit lead. The Long Island Generations Tour continues on WON next weekend with Sports Shot Series number four from East Meadow, New York. Then be on the lookout during the week of February 19th for the second part of the House Shot Spectacular from Strike 10 Lanes in Deer Park, New York. The fill is two with 67 at the half. Yeah, that was. That was a big ball. I got to complete this promo, sorry. And finally, to close out the month, don't miss the House Shot Series number five from Garden City, New York. A month of exciting LIGB tour bowling action, all on WON Sports. Look at that try. Oh, wow. Eight pin stands. Great recovery. Important sticks on the half Worcester. Yes, Paul. Scott has a slight lead here in the string. Still down two marks. Baker nine. 70. Six. Six. That's the spirit. 79-76, Scott up by three in the string, down 14 in the match, four boxes to go, no marks on the board. That's, yeah. a, that's enough time, he needs two at minimum. Don't forget if we tie, we have a one string roll off, and after the string, we'll stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge. Each bull will throw one ball. If they get a strike, they win $100. The more you climb, the more you can make. That was our first wild pitch from uh, Scott. That was a pitch out. Yeah. Almost our first lemon drop. I think it's the first time. Is that the first time all day? No, there yeah. were other, there were others. There, there's only other one other wild pitch I saw from Troy Fournier today. Good uh, second ball, five in the it night. It wasn't on, a, on, a, on his first ball though. Right, you called it out at the time. I remember. No, it, it, it's this is good bowling. <laughs> yes, yeah. and if you've been enjoying it too, please hit the like button, just that thumbs up button on whatever platform you're watching on. Scott gets wow. two for a ten. 89 through seven, needs some marks. That was tricky, what he had, he had to he had to hit it high, and, and he did. It was, it was not an easy. Keeps him in it. Easy two pins. Needs at least two marks to have a chance. All three would help. A double would certainly turn this around. Is that an ACS team match going off to our right? I think so. Lap year. Oh, oh the team yeah, goes. The eight wiggles holds up. Now look. Dangerous okay. piece of wood in front. It's, it's a, it's a bad mixture of sorts. This is a chemi chemistry problem here. Yeah, you got, you got John Lascarbo and Glennis McKinley over there. Yeah. Glennis is a high single at 202. For a spare, barrels through. Got it. Needed that one, 99 of the ball through eight in the third. That was cool, that was a, that was, that was a three way. It, it, you you hit, the, hit the piece in the front high and it hit the piece that was behind the five pin and caused a scorpion tail whip. And that's how it went. Sean's up 14 in the match through six completed boxes here in the final string of the match. On the oh, nose, strike baby! No, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> wow, how'd the nut fall? Significant nine drop though. Wow. Lop here presumably needs one more mark and good count here and it could go up if Baker gets this. About as close you can get to a strike. Kingpin the five for a spare. Dangerous wood. And he missed it. Okay. Talk about robbery. Should have been a strike. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, maybe. As a Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. 10, 86 through 7. It gives Scott a chance to cut at the single digits, box to box. It did present the chances, Baker will be first to admit. What a battle. Scott yep. was down 26 after one. Defeated Phil Clough, then Troy Fournier. It's only a double-digit deficit for right now. Baker back in the pocket. <laughs> this time it's a strike. <laughs> should have been two in a row. Oh, well, should have, could have, would have, but that was. 96 plus two in the eighth. Two boxes to go from beautiful Butwell's Bowling Center on Canopin Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network. Now if LaPierre could find the strike ball, he is still in this match. Even running spares will do as, just as nicely. Huge fill, beautiful ball, seven, eight, nine. That's good. This Clean shot the two. Yeah. That's in the fill. LaPierre trails, but that's a very good development. 108 through eight. Jay Simnel, the number one seed, next for the finals. Must make. For a spare, bang! 118 in the ball in the ninth. And another chance at bonus money, still looking for three straight to give away $25. Great match. 
Still has to fill. How do they go to strike the here? Oh, oh my man, he will not get it, but a big nine fill again. Oh my. Back to back spare nines. 127 wow. through nine. What a finish. Again, though, if Baker fills a strike decently, he must have this mark. This is $25 in bonus money, but more importantly, a chance to give him a chance to get in the finals. Got he got it. it! Three in a row! $25 in bonus money. And again, it's still an uphill climb. He still has to fill this one, but LaPierre is doing absolutely everything right in boxes nine and 10. $150 in bonus money. Overall, three ladders, three rounds in this ladder. And Greg explained it on the screen. It's a, he's, he's ahead by 14, but with this fill, it's gonna go up into the 20s, but Baker's working on a spare, on a, on a strike. Big search by Lapierre, wrapping up his match, crossing over, eight, nine, three, nine drops in a row on spares. Oh. 57, the last three, wow, 146 for Scott Lapierre. What a performance. And just like that, it sets up a huge finish. Now Baker needs to fill the strike and get one more mark at minimum. 354 for Scott Lapierre, so Sean needs a 130. Is that right, 130 to win? Uh, yes. He's on a strike. 96 plus two. Not a good time for a uh -oh. three. Oh, get a break. Oh, that was a big He's time for that. He's coming back for more. It's eight. Two, four, spare chance on a strike. What a monster break that is. Get your friends up. Watch Ken up and bowling. Get out and bowl. It's nothing like it. A sport for all ages. Did that just turn the match? For a spare. Got Yo! it. Big 20. <laughs> 106 through eight. 116 in the ball of the ninth. Baker still must fill. A half Worcester is no good because then he has to get it for a spare. Eight fill clinches it. Eight fill clinches it. Seven fill also does. Yeah. For the rights to face number one seed, Jay Simino. Seven fill does On it. On the bonus. He's yeah. got oh a strike. God. Game set <laughs> match. Wow. <laughs> clutch, clutch, clutch. See you in the finals, Sean Baker. You'll be facing Jay Simino. 126 to 9, 136 plus 2 in the 10th. Both balls putting on a show here at Butwells in Concord, New Hampshire. Another classic. And this is why we watch every frame. It's got a 146 and not enough. And three marks in a row. Back in the pocket, six. And this does count for bonus money as well. Can I get four more? That is three marks in a row for Sean Baker, yes. Oh, oh, nice nine. Oh, wow. What a string. Scott Lapia, 146. Sean Baker, 145. What a match. It Sean a wins it one of by the 16. By one of the best pins. we've ever had in this format. And it could get even better in just a moment, Paul, if you'd like to make your way down. Right, and we'll take a, the we'll take a pause. We'll come back with our $100 strike challenge. And the interview is next on Canlip and Bowling Network and the WON Sports Television Network. Yeah. <laughs> so LaPierre had five strings basically, one tie and four wins in the previous. That's 125 plus 25 more. That's 150. And he won two more. So I show him on $200 in bonus money, I believe. Yep. 370 to 354. It should be two hundred dollars. No, it was again. That's it. Sh it showed. We'll be right with you, folks. Strike challenge will get started in just a moment. You got it all set. Welcome back to Canopin Bowling Network. Canopins for Cancer, Season 3, Ladder 2. What a finish. Scott Lapierre, a 146. Good enough to win with Sean Baker yeah. in fine form. Comes back to take it, the total by 16. Right. What a great bet. You didn't have your best stuff. 
No, neither did he. That second string was, was awful. I don't know what we were doing that second string, but hey, you know, that's what happens. That's what this game's all about. I tried coming back. I didn't give up until the end. So, no, nope, it's Baker for you. That's what he does. You're always in the running. How do you how do you get better and better? Just keep coming, man. Just keep coming. Yeah, it ain't gonna keep me away. I'll tell you that. All right. Thanks. We'll see you in the ladder again sometime down the road. All right, buddy. Scott Lapia, thank strike, you. Strike challenge. We're gonna do the hundred dollar strike challenge just a moment. Sean Baker, come on up, Scott. Before you go, we have uh, third place finish five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars in bonus money, seven hundred dollars. A chance in just a moment for a hundred dollar strike challenge, Sean. Yes. Clutch, clutch, clutch again, just like the the six forty four qualifying round. Oh, you know, you just a tough string, you punch out after 135, you got a 90, you punch City, and you came roaring back. Well, just like we talked about prior, you asked about what the kids to do. Is you got to hang in there. You throw, you throw, keep putting the ball in there, and you know, hopefully things go the right way and whatnot. And you know, it, we we both struggled for a while, but you know, I was able to get a couple of boxes at the end to to have enough. Three letter word going to the finals against Jay Simino. Oh my God. How about wow? wow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Would you like the hundred dollars? Sure, why right. not? Pick your lane, throw one ball for the $100 strike challenge. One ball, one strike, $100. Scott Lapier, we'll go after that. Oh, oh what a try. He'll get another crack in the finals against Jay Simino next. Scott Lapier. Great ball. Another split, Sean. <laughs> Gets it out of the way now. Scott trying to add another 100 to get $800 in bonus money. Finals next. He right. Just missed right. Six, so no bonus money. Back to Greg Gouillard to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. On behalf of Al Johnson of Candlepins for Cancer, Paul Grant, Bob Lee, and myself, Greg Gouillard for Candlepin Bowling Network, and Jonathan Rios of WON Sports. Thank you very much for watching this match. Finals coming soon against Jay Simino. And until then, so long. Those of you watching on Candlepin Bowling Network, we will be right back with that match on another stream. Like, follow, and subscribe.